Gary, a humbling night tonight for everyone associated with the club. What's your immediate reaction to the game? Yeah, um, yeah one of huge frustration, really. Um, I think it was just the manner of the goals that is the bit that's most frustrating. I think we, you know, any level, and the players know this, we spoke about it um, half time and then at full time there was, you know, any level you can't give away the goals that we gave. They were, they were soft goals. Um, I think that's quite obvious. Um, but to give that many away in one game, do you know I mean, there was quite a lot of soft goals there, which, yeah, should never happen. Or, you know, occasionally one might happen in the game or maximum should be, you know, two, you've seen it before. But, you know, there's four or five there, which were easily, you know, we contributed to ourselves. Um, so that's something that can't happen going forward. Um, so yeah, it's hard to then look at things that are okay. You know, there were some good spells in there. We created quite a few chances, but I think you know the be all and end all is we conceded some really soft goals tonight. And, and like I said, you can't do that at any level, especially against a good team like Lincoln, who were in a, a good run of form. Um, so yeah, yeah, hugely disappointing. And the timings of the goals too to concede three minutes into yeah. each half, get them off on. Yeah, but it's funny that we actually started the game quite well, um, and then. Um, yeah, obviously you can see that first one, and then obviously you know, we're picking the straws here. But Jack Jacks is a penalty, you know that you know that goes in, or we get given that. Um, you know, it's a clear penalty, you know, one-one. You never know, but at the end of the day, that's just a byproduct of what really was the problem, which was just really soft goals today, self-inflicted. Yeah, and then a bit of a painful end to the game as well, as the scoreline doubled pretty quickly. Yeah, I was. Yeah, obviously. So, you know, when you get in those situations, you know, a little bit surprised to see, you know, us concede those those extra ones. But again, it was just self-inflicted. We made silly mistakes and, and got heavily punished by a team that's really informed. And um, although we created a bit and stuff like that, the, the, the be on end was yeah, it was it was self-inflicted tonight. What's needed to turn things around and get us out of this run of form? Oh, look, I think um, it's a case where. You know, even when you see that, yeah, this is food for thought for me. I think there's certain things that maybe I need to think about, you know, probably more away from home. Um, I think at home would be fine. I think you can see from Saturday there was, there was good elements of, of Saturday of where we can be really competitive and, and, and be in a good position against a team that's in a similar position in the league. I think it's maybe just away from home I have to think about um, what we need to do to maybe help the team. Um, a little bit more after seeing that tonight. So we'll see, especially against a team like that, highly mobile and and very aggressive um, runs and pressing and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, a lot of food for thought, but very clear um, in my head what we need to do. And and then we'll keep working and we'll stick together. That's one thing for sure. We just said it in the, the end, um, make sure we stick together. And we know, even though it's the type of night we just had, there was moments in there again, like and again on Saturday where you can see the ability, and that's a hard thing to say for tonight, but it is there. We created quite a few chances, um, but what we need to do is make sure that we don't self-inflict goals like that and, and we're much harder to beat, um, especially away from home. Is it almost fully down to confidence at the minute? Yeah, of course there's going to be the element of that, but, um, but they're good lads, you know, and, and it's one of those situations where you know, I've got no doubt they'll, be, you know, they'll get out of that and, you know, we just need that one result to go for us. We nearly had it on Saturday. Um, we've got an important game, like they all are, on Saturday now against Reading, um, in and around us down there. So we've played two teams that are, are doing quite well this season. We've got another team like Reading who are very in and out. Um, so we're prepared for them. But um, yeah, I've got no doubt that you know they're honest boys in there and they're good lads. Um, they've been really good so far in terms of in the trainings. It's just about taking that in, onto the pitch. And I think we can get that one really good performance and result. I think then you see momentum shifts and confidence comes straight back up. So they're not low on confidence by any means, um, but you do need that boost with, with, with some results. Probably goes about saying, but I'm sure you're hoping to see and expect to see a reaction at Reading. Oh, for sure. Yeah, 100%. I think you know, that type of result, um, from my experience, doesn't happen too often. Um, I'm sure for the lads as well. And whenever you had that type of result is, yeah, it should feed the fire, um, and I'm sure it will. Like I said, they're good lads. We'll get back on the training ground. We'll have a look at a lot of things here and review like we always do, and then, yeah, formulate the plan to go to go forward with Reading.